are here. Oh. I have been disobeyed. Oh. And you remember my powers. Oh. Now I say gold is being hidden from me. I do not want any of you to hold any gold. Gold is taboo for you. I say it is. Now bring it here. Bring it here. If you do not bring it, I will take it from you and send you too to the land of ghosts. Do not make me angry. I know who you are. Bring it here.
Who's that? That's my father. Your father seems very interested in the fire. He thought it might be a distress call. Well, it's not. Anyone in distress here comes to us. Dad! Dad, behind you! Fred, you'll be safe here. Him out. I took care of him, Doctor. Good boy, Fred. Is that all right? Yeah, just a nasty bump, that's all. You want it to set him off? Oh, I wonder where he got it. We haven't seen a spare year in how long, Fred? Oh, maybe two. Or maybe three years, Doctor. Yeah, so we'd better get the captain back to the house. Ever since I came to help these people, I've tried for one thing. To put an end to the savage violence, which is the curse of all these islands. I've taught them, I've pleaded with them to give up all dangerous weapons. I could have sworn I'd succeeded. Captain, I'm afraid this island's dangerous for you. Why? Well, you must have broken some taboo when you kicked that fire. These are very religious people, you know. I thought you said they weren't violent people. If you'd asked me a year ago, I'd have staked my life. There wasn't even a spear on the island. Where did it come from? I don't know. Some years ago, there was a stupid rumor that there was gold on the island. Some strangers came in armed some of the natives. Sort of a private army, you know, to help them look for gold. What happened? Well, the rumor turned out to be just that, a rumor. But I had to threaten to leave the island before I could get them to give up the weapons and throw the strangers off. Apparently, some of them didn't throw the weapons away. Well, shove off, then. You sure you wouldn't like to come with us? How could I? This island, these natives, they're my life. I feel as if they were my own, you know. They, well, you know what they feel about medical men. It's almost embarrassing sometimes. You know, how well they treat you. Oh, that should be right. Doctor! Turn the man who threw the spear over to the natives. I'll take care of him good. You told them I didn't want them to be too harsh. You're too nice hearted, Doctor. Thanks for everything. Just for safety, Captain, I'll have some of my men see you, do you think? That's not necessary. Please, Captain, humor a very worried man. Here's the gun. 
got. Maybe you could bring Dr. Taylor and Fred back with you. I'll try to persuade them. you off the island, but you didn't listen. I listened long enough to know what you're up to. Go. Yes, I'm sorry you learned about that. We can make a deal, Taylor. I've got a boat. You've got the gold. You'll need a boat to get it off the island. I don't believe your intention, Captain. Besides, I'll soon have the boat, too. Get over there. We'll just put you in cold storage.
you'll be safe enough, you sir. I'm going, and I'd like to see someone try and stop me. Oh, William? I got a bingy. down there.
out that window, girl. He knows what he's coming to help you. Alamo, bring me another glass of water. Alamo! Alamo! 